In this video, I'm going to show you how you can get clear skin naturally. When I was younger, I used to have really bad acne and this affected my confidence a lot. I tried so many different things to try and get rid of it and majority of them didn't work. But in this video, I'm going to be going over the things I did naturally. So this is without medication. I'm not going to have a three minute sponsor from some skincare brand I don't even use. This is all completely natural, things you can do at home and this is what helps me clear up my skin. If I make it to look like this, to this. It's important to mention that each point I say in this video will help you get clear skin. The more points you want to do, the more dedicated you are, the quicker your skin will clear. I've also got a big tip at the end of this video, which a lot of people I've seen who have made videos like this have not mentioned, so make sure to stick around for that. So the first way to get clear skin, and I think this is one of the biggest one, is diet. If you're eating a lot of sugar, if you eat a lot of processed food, this will contribute to acne and spots, and it will also cause a lot of breakout. I don't want to get too into the science, but pretty much when we eat sugar it makes a thing in our body called glucose now when there's high levels of glucose in the body it spikes a hormone chemical called insulin now insulin's job is to turn glucose into energy but by doing this insulin also increases the production of sebum and an excess amount of sebum can cause breakouts it causes clogs in the pores which eventually causes you to get bad skin so the main takeaway is try and cut out sugary foods and processed foods so stuff like cake chocolate bars sweets pizza, all that stuff. The next tip I want to talk about is drink plenty of water. As a man, you should be drinking 3.7 litres of water, which is around about eight glasses, which I know 99% of people watching this video will not be doing at all. For women, it's a little bit lower, it's 2.7 litres. So the reason why we should drink a lot of water is it helps flush out toxins in the body and it also helps to make your skin glow and make it look smoother. Go and drink seven to eight cups of water today and by the end, I guarantee you, your skin will be looking better. Now this next point I want to make, I don't think it's as important as everyone bangs on about. I think a lot of people just mention it because they can advertise some stupid skincare brand and make a lot of money for it. But I do have a skincare routine written down in here. Personally, I face wash twice a day, I moisturize twice a day, and I also use this thing called vitamin C, which is good for like acne marks, which is a couple I have. I do want to say, even though a skincare routine is important and can help, I don't think it's the most major thing you need to do to get clear skin. If you don't do any of the other points I mentioned and you just do a skincare routine, your skin may improve but it will not go away completely. The majority of our bad skin, especially as teenagers, is genetic. So just cleaning your skin will not go rid of it completely. You need to be doing these other things I say like diet and drinking a lot of water. And I will be making a further video later on my personal skincare routine. But if you're watching this video, especially if you're low on money, I wouldn't suggest going out and spending hundreds of pounds on skincare products. I would just stick to the other tips I mentioned in this video. The next point I want to talk about, and I think this is one which is pretty underrated, it's not really talked about much, but stress and anxiety is a trigger for breakout. If you've ever noticed, if you're ever really insecure about your skin, you notice your skin is normally worse when you're thinking about it, or when you're worried about it, when you're insecure about it. Times where you're not that fussed about your skin, you're kind of just like, what will be will be, it will go away later. That's when your skin is seen to look better. Stress and anxiety causes hormone imbalances in the body which causes acne breakouts. Now if your skin is really really bad and you're really insecure about it I do suggest going to a dermatologist. Here they'll probably prescribe you some medications such as Accutane. Obviously this just has side effects such as it is a link to depression so I'd only go to a dermatologist if your skin is really really bad but first I do recommend doing all the points I mentioned in this video before going to a dermatologist because I really do think these will help. I know having bad skin sucks it both with me for years and before I finally do did these things to clear it. It's still not completely gone but it is a lot better than it used to be. However there are some benefits of having bad skin which I personally found at a young age. The first one being is you learn a lot about diet and skincare which helps you later on in life. Another benefit is it makes you age less. As you get older you notice that a lot of your friends in like your 50s, your 60s they'll get a lot more wrinkles and a lot more older than you compared to you. This is because our skin is a lot more moisturised we produce more oil, we get higher oil production, so it's a lot more moisturised, so we end up getting less wrinkles. Another important thing to mention 
is it doesn't last forever. Worst case scenario, it will go away in your early 20s. My oldest brother, he has perfect clear glowing skin that looks really good and he's about 23 now, so it will go away. A lot of people on TV also have bad skin, they just try and hide it. Celebrities such as Kendall Jenner and Leonardo DiCaprio, they all had really bad skin when they were younger and they all have grey skin now. So that's just further proof that it does go away. I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope it's helped. Click on this video right now. Until next time, stay blessed.